Okay, so um, I'm playing Pucheon. <laughs> I thought I'd record this. Awesome stuff. Um, this is kind of awesome. Ah, jeez. I'm all excited. I think I'd sit up with Knights of Cal here. Might sit up here. That's fine. So he's going to go for Coco. <laughs> That's really cool. So if I, oh, don't know how to make the scene bigger or whatever, but um, yeah, he's just saying good luck in it. That's pretty sweet. Just gotta make sure I hold it together every instant. I've played this matchup before. I know he's playing the displacer version. Oh crap! Yeah, this is scary. Seven cards in hand as well, savage. Come out the grass. Six with this, he's probably going to uh, <laughs> mechanical Saracen as well.
those cocoa targets haven't been incredible. digging See the tree elms. Let's play the plains for another loam drive. Oh my god, what the hell? Squatch recruiter, sure. Catacomb super. Jesus Christ. Talk about a flooded board. Yeah, we'll play Addison here. So we got a Fram Inspector. Which gives us a clue. We got a Hangerback Walker. X is one, yeah. And then if we sack a creature, we're going to wipe all of these guys out. Which I think is the correct line. Huh, made a mistake, but hey. Whenever a non-angel creature you control dies, transform. Yeah, so we'll sack the plant. Yeah. Oh, one nil up against Paul Geon. Yes. <laughs> oh man, I'm pretty excited now. So Declaration of Stone comes in. Flab Inspect is pretty poor in this matchup. Stasis Snow comes in, Tragic Arrogance comes in, and Quarantine Fear comes in, which means Oath of Miss is a bit, a bit poo as well, and we do not need a, another Glamorphous Command, in fact, potentially going with a Lantern Scout for a lull. Whew, nearly missed the line there. Daggers. Mulligan. Do I mulligan that hand? I think, yeah. Oh my freaking god. Mulligan. Oh, Hangerback seems good though. Dusk Watch is good. Wave into 
blow that one with that tragic arrogance to hit home. Snap on that. My draw to displace it is not cool. Very good at hanging out Walker as well. Yep. Seems strong. Draw the displacer as briefly. Many lone dryads. So, 1-1. One, one. There. Do I want hangbacks in the deck? Probably go for a bit of a... Bit of a split there now that I know that um, Eldrazi Displacer kind of does back to the hangback. Completely kind of didn't make the connection there. Um, I don't really mind Nimbara either. Let's go with hmm. Let's go with that. Oh man, this hands. Let's keep that hand. It's not great, but we can get her, I guess. Oh, mate, come on. <sighs> always, always when you least need your hands to be shit, do your hands become shit. 
My word, God, that was really good, actually. Got a good good hand here. Uh, that can be this on point. Another man with a lovely yellow. Whoa! Yeah, decoration seems way too strong here. to give two blues to get some advantage here. Yeah. I'll just tick up this one. So I like the life link because the draining of the um with Zulu Port Cutthroat often does just about twenty damage. I don't know if he's doing the infinite combo version with um whatever the other card is, what makes it an infinite combo. Uh, let's go down to one and go ham. Yeah, it's like brood monitor Zulu Port Cutthroat and um or draws a displacer. So here comes Coco. And we get to Stasis Never Best target. So what's the mechanic of the deck? So we've got the scry oh we don't have Stasis snare here. Probably do actually. I'll target the Catacomb Sifter. That makes blocking a bit harder for him. Oh, happy to get a free. Interesting. this playing for Cheon super sweet On a cursive, but it's looking kind of good. Down to one, Christ. 
I can reflect an image. I get more life which is quite nice and then that would have been great there and that would have been normally just goes as that Decoration and snow black guy. Yeah. GG, pull she on. Oh man. So good. <laughs> oh, I'm happy now. And that is me playing Paul Chion and somehow winning. <laughs>